Indy Mogul. Hello, Internet friends, and welcome to our monthly celebration of your special effects videos. As always, we're bringing you two user-submitted FX tutorials and a buttload of your special effects clips. Our first tutorial comes in from Alex, and he's going to show us how to make an awesome bike cam mount. Hey, Indie Mobile viewers. Hope you guys are ready, because today I'm going to show you how to make a bike cam. All you guys need is one U-bolt with quarter inch threads, six quarter inch nuts, eight quarter inch washers, two of these big washer things, a seven sixteenth inch bolt, and a seven sixteenth inch nut. Electrical tape, some L-shaped aluminum bracketing, a hacksaw, a seven sixteenth and a half inch wrench, and your bicycle. Take your U-bolt all the way apart and take your L-bracket and find out what sequence of holes the U-bolt fits into. Now take a pencil and mark next to these two holes and cut out the piece that you marked. When you're done, you should have a piece that looks just like this. Now take your U-bolt and slide it on to the front part of your bicycle. Slip on your flat starting piece, put on your bolts, and tighten it down. Now grab your half inch wrench and tighten down all of the bolts. You're going to actually bend that metal plate there. Now take two washers and slip them on. Take two more bolts, thread them down, two more sets of washers, two more bolts, tighten those down, take a wrench, tighten everything down. Now take two more washers and your cut piece of aluminum and slide that on. Now take your last two washers, slide them on, and take your last two bolts, screw those on, and tighten them down with your half inch wrench. Now the top portion of your metal L bracket will be very, very sharp, so I recommend taking electrical tape and cover that over. Now you're going to need a hole in the top of your metal L bracket. Take your 7 16th inch bolt and one of your big washers and stick that up through the hole. Take your second washer, slip that down over over and take your last bolt and tighten it down and you'll have your tripod apparatus. When you're ready to put your camera on the rig, you're going to loosen the top nut so that the entire bolt can spin freely. Then you'll be able to lower your camera down so that the tripod acceptor on the bottom of your camera fits over the top of the, your bolt. And you're going to be able to spin the bolt up into the camera and tighten it down. I can't actually show you this because, well, I'm actually using my camera to film this. Once you have the bolt spun up inside the tripod acceptor underneath your camera, you can slide your wrench in between the washer and your camera and tighten the bolt down so that everything is nice and secure. Stay tuned after the break for more clips and another tutorial. On $99 Music Videos, we challenge filmmakers to create original music videos for hot new bands on a budget of no more than $99. Every Tuesday and Thursday at $99MusicVideos.com. What the f***? Get him, man. Now it's time for the random effects montage! Our last tutorial comes in from Anthony, and he's going to show us how to smear blood on your wall without getting grounded or arrested. Long, it's a long story. Hey Indie Moglers, I'm Anthony. I'll be showing you how to make a cool gunshot effect for cheap. All you'll need is a board painted like this, a fake shotgun, an old shirt, and black makeup. So the first thing you need is you need a shot of your actor, like the intro, 
and then you'll have a shot of your actor pulling the gun, and then you'll have your sound effects, whatever you want, and then you have to have a shot of the person backing up like this against the board and sliding down like this. With a little editing, it should look a little something like this. All right, everyone, that wraps up another episode of Your Effects. Make sure and tune in next week for our father-son run special where I'm gonna talk about my very first feature film. Thanks for watching, keep making your movies, and we'll see you next week.